Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Top 5 Niches of the Week. This is episode 61 and I'm going to be giving you five print-on-demand niches to target this week that will hopefully result in some short-term sales as these are in high demand right now as they're trending. So let's get right to it. Real quick, just wanted to shout out the weekly print-on-demand giveaway winners. I'll be emailing you as soon as I post this video, but they won a license to Merch Titans Upload Automation, Merch Ninja Research Tools, All Sunsets, and Bubble Scout. So congrats to them. And guys, the next weekly print-on-demand giveaway has begun. You can enter for free using the link in the description or go to ryanhoag.com forward slash giveaway. Also, while you're down there in the description, take advantage of my eight-day print-on-demand mini course and my print-on-demand Facebook group. Niche number one, and this one may look familiar. Oops, before we get to niche number one, just wanted to remind you guys, if you are unsure if something is safe to sell on Merch by Amazon, watch this video that I put together, all right? I'm gonna link to it in the YouTube cards right here. It will show you how I try to figure out if something is safe, because there is, by the books, a uh, legal safe, and then there's, okay, all of that's checked off. Why did the Merch algorithm reject me? And I just want to let you guys know that something sh that should be safe may still get rejected by the merch algorithm. So you need to check both boxes. All right. I show you exactly what you need to know in that video. It's very important. So make sure you watch it. Niche number one. All right. This one probably looks familiar. As I said, uh, this is Phoenix basketball. All right. And I'll leave it to you guys to figure out why people in Phoenix are buying basketball shirts. All right. Now, make sure not to infringe on any NBA teams in Phoenix, all right? That is the last thing you want to do. You'll lose your merch account like this person did. I clicked this link from um, Flying Research, and it said uh, Dogs of Amazon, page removed. And that's the type of infringement that will get your account banned. However, for all the people in Phoenix that don't even watch NBA but just want to watch or want to wear a shirt that says Phoenix Basketball, uh, there are a lot of those shirts selling extremely well right now. Like, if you want, like, the best-selling niche right now that's not something like Disney or Marvel, this is probably it right here. All right, and as you can see here, man, this shirt, oh, man, whoever sold this shirt ahead of time, because it looks like it was available for sale as far back as at least October, uh, check that out. As soon as, like, May 23rd hit, I'm guessing that maybe the Phoenix Suns advanced into the next round of the playoffs or something. Uh, yeah, their BSR has been steadily under 100K and actually still climbing, um, currently 12,000. All right, niche number two, and this is Christmas in July. These shirts, I think I mentioned them last week, and they are continuing to sell really well. I personally don't, I still don't get it. I know some of you guys were explaining it to me in the comments, but like, I, I just don't get it as like a thing that would make me want to wear a shirt, um, but I'm not judging either, right? As sellers, do we really need to understand the niche? Not not typically. So uh, there's definitely some sub niche potential in Christmas in July as well. You've, you can see like a snowman made of baseballs. You can see Santa Claus on a surfboard. You can see a watermelon Christmas tree. Um, again, all of this is completely new to me. So I'm actually like really enjoying looking at these designs and best seller ranks here. 350,000, 233,000, 41,000, 173,000. So yeah, definitely selling extremely well. All right, niche number three. And I think I alluded to this last week. Um, and rather than me even try to say why these are selling so well, uh, shirts that say Italia with the Italian flag like green, white, and red mixed in somehow are selling quite well right now. All right, again, whether you care why they're selling well or not, um, this is the market speaking, right? This is, again, if these weren't selling well, they wouldn't creep up into the best sellers and I wouldn't be talking about them. However, for some reason, people are buying shirts that say Italia. And when I say some reason, I know why people are buying them. Um, so yeah, so do your own research, decide if this is a niche that you want to go after. If you do enter this niche, Watch, remember that video I was alluding to before I did niche number one that kind of shows you how to validate keywords to keep your account safe? And that's not, that doesn't even mean that we're infringing. It just means that like the algorithm, even if everything is fine on paper, can still reject you. People forget that. It's, it's very common. I mean, it's not very common, but it, it's more common than you would think. So you must play the game. And to play the game, you have to understand the game. So go watch that video and learn how to validate keywords. And then if you go after a niche like this that, I mean, I don't know if 
it's even a trap or not. Uh, but you know, I certainly know that like you could use the wrong keyword and get a rejection very easily. So validate your keywords. All right. And that, that's, that's true for every niche and every upload you do every day. It's not like it's just for this, this upload right here, this niche. All right. So when I rec make that recommendation, it's me just looking out, like you can get rejections on shirts that you should never get a rejection on because you didn't validate the keywords. You know what I mean? So it's just something that needs to be a part of your habits. All right, and uh, you can see here from Flying Research, this shirt is improving in its uh, BSR, in its sales velocity. This was only posted, uh, what's today's date? This is July 11th. This was posted one month ago on June 10th, and they are doing extremely well with a current BSR of 32,000. And uh, you can see here from Flying Research at the bottom there, it even suggests keywords that you should be targeting, Italy, soccer, Jersey, Italian. Now, I don't know if I would actually target those keywords in that order. Again, validate your keywords because I can just, I'm just thinking out loud. If you typed in those first three keywords in order, Italy, soccer, Jersey, I feel like you would probably get rejected. However, I could be wrong. I'm just thinking out loud. I didn't actually go through the process of validating the keywords, but again, it's something everybody should do. All right, niche number four, and a uh, quick side note, side note, I had to kind of replace niche number three and niche number five. I had done some video prep uh, a day in advance, and then, I don't know, it's not even, I don't know why, if, if anybody even cares, but like I had to basically go through and like do the prep again, so I found seven niches this week, and I replaced two of them this morning, because I, I just didn't think they were going to be trending as well. Niche number four, and this is 4547. Anybody want to guess what 4547 means? I'll bet you the t-shirt sellers, basically everybody watching this video probably has a has a guess, right? Um the Trump shirts, guys. These are still selling like Trump as a as a print on demand niche is like a gift that keeps on giving. Like he may never he may just completely disappear from the public eye. We may never hear from him again. Or maybe he'll run for president again. Who knows? Uh one thing I can tell you is that he got a lot of votes in that last election and people are still buying Trump merch. Um, anybody that watched the UFC fight last night, I, I mean, I can't be the only one that noticed him in the, in the crowd. Um, they never like panned to him or anything like that. I don't know if it was like security or what. Um, but like he was a hundred percent in the crowd. You could see his like long ass, big red tie. So he's still out there. He's still, you know, people, um, I mean, I don't really watch mainstream news, so I actually don't know how out there he is, but I definitely saw him on the UFC. <laughs> That's about as close to like mainstream television as I'm ever going to watch. Cause I, I honestly think it's all almost exclusively propaganda these days and brainwashing. So you can disagree by the way, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right. So 45, 47, uh, as you can see here, 600 K BSR, 600 K BSR, 96,000, 400,000. Uh, again, I didn't just screenshot the highest, uh, or the, the best sellers, the lowest BSRs. If you actually scroll through the page, you'll notice there's a, a nice mix of, um, best sellers with okay sellers, but typically, you know, something like this with politics, I am anticipating this being more of an evergreen than a trend. And when you see evergreens that have, you know, high end under a hundred thousand BSR, that's a good indicator. And then you see a nice scattering of shirts that have all made sales. Like that's a niche I want to be in. So here you go, you can see, um, according to Flying Research, tracking the BSR over time, you can see it is continuing to improve. You see that trend line that is up and to the right. Although when I do my little green screen hand pointing, I can't do it, I suck at the green screen. Everything's backwards. I was uh, attempting to imitate the up and to the right, however, I was going up and to the left. Anyways, this is a good indicator, all right? This is increasing in sales velocity, so take note, 45, 47, and there's a lot you can do with these. By the way, just thinking out loud here, all right, don't hate me for saying this, but like if Biden is 46, I'm not convinced that Harris won't be 47. Uh, anybody that, I mean, I know that the news doesn't make a big like deal of like Biden's inability to read teleprompters and stuff like that. But like my grandpa was going through similar things to what Biden was going through or is going through. And so I kind of know how this ends and uh, he's got world-class healthcare. So he may make it out of this term. I'm just saying 47 may turn into Harris, Trump may be 45, 48. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Don't hate me for saying it. Just an observation. All right, niche number five. This is, I miss mean tweets and affordable gas. All right, and this isn't like a, that's not the only set of words you, you can use in this niche. There's a lot of flexibility with the uh, with the keywords here, but the whole gist of it is people that miss Trump. They miss the, the angry tweets. They miss the cheap gas. All right, let's not even get political. This is just a t-shirt niche and it's selling quite well. Behind me, 200,000. To the left, 217,000. To the left of that, 229,000. To the left of that, 
uh, 700,000. So definitely sub niche potential here. And again, I think of this as more evergreen. I don't think of this as like flash in the pan. Like, I think these are probably going to continue to make regular sales for the foreseeable future. I couldn't, I can't think of a reason they wouldn't, um, unless some crazy trend emerges that just dwarfs everything, which we saw last year in 2020 multiple times, which is why so many people were so successful selling t-shirts last year in 2020. It was a crazy year for print on demand. Let's just say that. Um, here you go, Flying Research. You can see this shirt that put it on my radar has a 61,000 BSR. All right, looking ahead, if you want to sell some random shirts um, related to like very random holidays, August 11th, Sun and Daughter Day. August 12th, World Elephant Day. Of course, World Elephant Day. Who didn't know? August 13th, Left Handers Day. That reminds me of uh, Flanders from The Simpsons. Didn't you have like the Leftatorium or something? All Like a whole store for left-handed people? August 15, oh, shout out left-handed people, by the way. My mom's left-handed. August 15, Relaxation Day. August 16th, National Tell a Joke Day. So there's five random holidays if you want to sell some merch related to them. Uh, I have done it before and I have made sales. It's not something I do regularly because it's just, it's just weird, honestly. And when I do attack these types of days, I typically make a point of pushing it to Seller Central because I don't want to just do it for merch. If it doesn't sell, it gets pulled before the next year when that holiday comes again. So if you do it through Seller Central, it sits there forever. You don't have to worry about it getting pulled off Amazon. So if you don't make a sale this year, you can still make a sale next year, right? Just uh, giving you my strategy there. All right, bonus shirt. Um, this one was funny. I don't know why this even popped up on my radar, but it says undefeated toilet clogging champ, massive division. <laughs> like, honestly, what? who thought of this? And why does it have six reviews? Like implying that it's made quite a few more sales than that. Um, I think about 5% like upwards get get reviews. So that's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of sales. Uh, anyways, well-executed design, pretty funny, like the color scheme, like the simplicity, like the varying of the fonts and the font uh, families and the font sizes, the curved, everything. It's just very nicely executed and very symmetric, all right? Deleted designs. Oh, I should have warned you guys earlier. Man, because if anybody clicked off, I wanted you guys to see the deleted design section today. So I don't know why all of these designs are getting pulled. Um, well, I know why that first one in the top left is. It's a uh, women's USA soccer t-shirt and um, basically is just like ripped straight off of the jerseys that they wear on the soccer field. So I would be very careful doing that and just blatantly ripping them from the like Olympic team jerseys. That's not a good strategy, all right? Um, like even earlier when I talked about the Italia stuff, I'm not telling you to like replicate the jersey on a shirt. Like I think that's a terrible strategy. Um, but if you want to say like Italia and have an Italian flag, as far as I've seen so far, that seems perfectly fine. Um, here, you've got a lot of sunset designs though that got pulled. I don't know if that's through manual reporting or what, but fortunately, Merch Ninja freezes and takes a screenshot of like the listing for us because if you actually click the listing on Amazon, it goes to the dogs of Amazon. You can't see the in, uh, info anymore. So if anybody wants to pause the video, I will show you a couple screenshots of these removed designs if you want to kind of speculate why they got uh, removed. All right, so we had like a Chihuahua, Formula One racing, we had scuba diving, and we've got a chicken. All right, I also wanted to share that uh, there is a hot selling t-shirt niche that like is selling extremely well. However, nobody should enter this niche because somebody joined the Merch by Amazon Facebook group that I run and shared that this was their original design and it says, am I the only one, Aaron Lewis? And I Googled it, it's like a YouTube song or something. Uh, anyways, he said it cost him his account even though this shirt is selling like crazy. So I guess not everybody got their account pulled. All I'm saying is, like, I, I don't know why this is, why Merch by Amazon terminated his account for selling this. Like, I'm just letting you guys know, anybody that has the research tools, you're gonna see this shirt. Somebody's telling you firsthand that this got their account removed. So be very careful there. Also, I just wanted to also um, let you guys know that like Space Jam partnered with Merch by Amazon. These shirts are going to rocket to the top. Um, they're already selling extremely well. Don't get cute and think that you're gonna sell a Space Jam shirt. That is a terrible idea. So I just wanna make a quick point of that because I've seen a lot of these popping up and selling extremely well. Anybody that's not familiar with Space Jam, just look it up. <laughs> Watch the original movie, it's really good. Hopefully the second one with uh, LeBron isn't, isn't gonna be too bad. All right, guys, before we wrap up, thank you for staying with me this long. Just wanted to remind you, I'm running a new weekly print-on-demand giveaway. This is my print-on-demand mega pack. You can enter for free. This week is sponsored by Flying Research, my go-to merch research tool. Automate POD, which I use for design creation automation, and All American Graphics, premium pre-made graphics to help you with your designs. 
Last but not least, Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. It's like Jungle Scout for Redbubble. Jungle Scout is like a great FBA tool if you guys don't know what that is. All right, so ryanhoag.com forward slash giveaway. Take advantage of that giveaway. And just wanted to remind you, I wrote a full print on demand course, how I make six figure print on demand sales every single year. It's like you're looking over my shoulder at exactly how I run my business. You can check it out, link in the description. Thank you for watching till the end, guys. Like, subscribe. Appreciate you, appreciate your time. Go make some sales, and I will see you tomorrow.